Buongiorno, Focus fans. Welcome back to Real Destinations, where we tour the locations that make our favorite movies look and feel real. Pack your bags and prepare for a cinematic adventure because we're traveling to Italy with Lufthansa to explore the ancient city of Rome. Book Club The Next Chapter reunites four best friends as they embark on an unforgettable bachelorette trip to Italy. The only question is how will we mess this all up? I can't wait to find out. <laughs> Inspired by their monthly read, the ladies seek the experience of a lifetime and are met with delicious cuisine, unexpected romance, and some slightly scandalous moments. Don't move. What are you doing? That would be me. <laughs> Directed by Bill Holderman, this feel-good comedy stars legends Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen. I think we should all go to Italy. Such is fate. Like many European cities, Rome has a thriving coffee and cafe culture. Here, you will find plenty of outdoor eateries serving the best pastries, small bites, and of course, Italian wine. Rome is a great walking city, but it's an even better sit down, drink wine city. Oh, cheers. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Right. As we hit the cobblestone streets, I'm going to get some tips from a local tour guide, Ariana. Ciao, Ariana. Ciao, Alicia. When you visit Rome, you must see the most iconic sites of Rome, such as the Colosseum and the archaeological area. I don't think there's an ugly street in this entire city. The Pantheon is one of the only remaining still standing ancient temples that we have in the city. I love this city. Me too. I love anything that's falling apart more than I am. <laughs> The Spanish Steps were made famous for American tourists after appearing in one of my favorite classic movies, Roman Holiday. But ironically, Spain didn't construct Europe's widest and longest staircase. It's funny because the Spanish Steps have been paid by the French. And you were actually at the Spanish Steps with a tour when you saw the ladies from book club filming. I was supposed to give a tour of the Spanish Steps. So as we walked towards the steps, there was fans all around. We couldn't pass anywhere. And at some point, we turn, and that's Jane Fonda to like, <laughs> she's so gorgeous. Queen. I'm going to cause an international incident. Taking a page from the book club's itinerary, we're stopping into the Capitoline Museums for a little art history. In his defense, it is a little chilly in here. I got the same perm back in 1982. <laughs> Dating back to the 15th century, this museum boasts an impressive collection of ancient, medieval, and Renaissance works. Rome lives in a sort of a circle where past, present, and future coexist, where you can grab a spritz overlooking the ruins of the Roman Forum. Every day in Rome is an adventure. Per fantastico, tutto a posto. Belle donne, le viti più vecchie danno l'uva più dolce. What did he say? The older the vines, the sweeter the fruit. Oh, yes, look we still up. got it. <laughs> In the film, the book club quartet take a spontaneous trip to Venice, and although those exterior scenes were shot on location, the hotel where the ladies stay is located here in Rome, the Grand Hotel Plaza. And this lobby bar is the perfect place to rest my feet and enjoy an aperitivo, aka Italian happy hour. Campari spritz, yes. por favore. Joining me virtually from LA are the film's writer and director. Hi, Bill. Hi, Aaron. Ciao, Alicia. Nice to see you. How are you enjoying Rome? Oh, I love it here. Kind of impossible not to. Why did you choose this hotel in Rome rather than Venice? We shot the Venice Hotel in Rome mainly because for production reasons, it's a little bit easier. Everything in Venice has to get moved by boat, and that is a slow process. Why is Rome the best location to shoot movies? First and foremost, because of the people. Because of the crews, there is a long storied history to cinema in Italy, and not only are they talented, they're passionate, they're so good at their jobs, they love it so much. Everything it was, was relaxed. Yeah, it was very calm. Yeah. 
time to get to Tuscany, huh? Everyone needs to stop screaming. No trip to Italy is complete without a spin through Tuscany. And we did go up there with second unit and shoot all of the beautiful rolling hills. But not to tell tales out of school, but the Tuscan hotel from the movie was actually just outside of Rome. We made it. Originally built on the ruins of a Roman villa, the castle was first used as a hotel in the 1300s, as its owners welcomed wayfarers and pilgrims passing through the area. Today, this boutique venue frequently hosts fairy tale weddings and romantic getaways, and I can see why. I'm so glad we did this. The one thing about shooting in Rome is you can't fake it. From the way the light dances off the buildings and the cobblestones, it's just a place like nowhere else. One of the big themes of the movie, it's all about not letting anything hold you back, you being in control of your own destiny. <laughs> Life is unpredictable, and it's the surprises that make it worth living. For the actors, it was authentic. They were traveling, having an experience that they actually had never had before. And they're changed from it. We all felt it. What are we doing next? <laughs> As our own Roman holiday comes to an end, I couldn't leave without paying a visit to the dreamy Trevi Fountain. But if you're not ready for the fun to be over, you can join these lovely ladies as they gallivant through Italy in Book Club, the next chapter. Where am I wishing to go to next? If I tell you, it won't come true. I'm Alicia Malone, and I'll see you at the next Real Destination. Ciao.